chalk got into my eye. Hello, Professor. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. Do you want to keep the water in your eyes for 15 minutes? Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. If you have to feel a pain in your eyes, okay. Thank you so much. We teach thick classes here too. Would you like that? Ruiya College of the University of Mumbai, which was established in 1937, is one of the top academic institutions in India. A Ruiya College principal, Dr. Anushri Lakur, invited Savorno to give a lecture in physics and computer science. So, let's start. Oh my god, I can hear the door opening. Who's in? May I come in, Professor? Can I come in, Professor? Yes. I'm late, okay. sorry, Professor. That's not just late. You were one hour late. If you were that late again, don't even think about taking a step into my classroom. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Um, we were on incline plane. I am bored Kisaf Court. Let's clean the board. A chum she can get incline plane. Today, we will be learning about inclined planes. So let's start by talking about the incline. The incline has a coefficient of friction of about 0 0.3. Let's say that it's inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. Let's just disregard that for now. But anyway, this has something, a force in front of it, FD parallel, and then a force behind it, which is FF. So now, this, these are the two forces. So now, can somebody explain to me what FG parallel is and what FF is? Either way, you would get the same answer. I got the answer, Professor. Thank you, Aberdeen. So, the correct answer was that FF is the force of friction and FG parallel is one of the components of FG. The other component I will draw now is FG perpendicular, which is perpendicular to the plane. And we have FG over there and then FM over there, which is at an angle. All right. So now these are the four forces, or if you count that skeleton FG, I drew five. And so now we have a um, mu k, and so we know that fg perpendicular is, let's say, uh, mg cosine theta, which is fg cosine theta, and we have fg parallel, which is mg sine theta, or fg sine theta. All right, so now we also know the force of friction. The force of friction is equal to mu k, or mu f, which is the coefficient of friction, times fn. And we care about for, for FG perpendicular because FG perpendicular is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to F of N. And so that means that we can, if we find FG perpendicular, we can find F of N, which allows us to find F of F. So we only care about the two forces which act in the direction of the acceleration for the most part, FF and FG parallel. And so now, how, what can we make an equation for? Well... Let me just give you something. So what is Newton's second law? Can somebody tell me? Good. Thank you. Well, you told us that that is equal to, uh, the net force is equal to F equals MA. And so now what are the net forces? Well, we have F of F and we also have FD parallel. And so now that's all equal to MA. Now, let's plug in. We know FG parallel, or FF rather, is mu k fn. So, let's get that over here, mu k fn. And then we subtract that for, for by um, md sine theta. Um, sorry, just made a little mistake there. And that's all equal to ma. Now, do you guys spot a common factor? That's right, it's m, the mass. We cancel out those two m's thereby leaving us with mu k cosine theta and then minus g sine theta. And so now we have a much more simplified equation. So that's equal to all to n. And now all we need to do is plug in. So let's simplify to so g mu k cosine theta minus sine theta. I just factor out g for my convenience. You don't have to. And so now... The thing is that this must mean that this Newton's second law is here. It is not going at a constant velocity, but rather there is some acceleration over here. So there is some acceleration. 
And so now, all we have to do is plug everything in. So is there anybody in this crowd that has a calculator? Everybody, take out your calculator now. Oh my goodness, it's magnificent. All of the black blocks in your hands. So, anyway, let's plug everything in first so you guys know what you're supposed to do. So 9.81, then 0 0.3, and we know that the theta is 30, so we get cosine 30, and so, sorry, and then minus sine 30 is equal to, not, uh, well, a. And so now, we have to find all of this. And so, we know that uh, cosine 30 is 0 0.866. So, everybody, take out your calculators, plug everything in. All right. So, let's see if we can get an answer over here. So, this is all equal to A. Sorry for forgetting to write that. And so, we are nearing the end of this lecture. And so, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to take this thing. We multiply 0 0.3 by 0 0.866 and then we multiply that by minus 9.81 remember it's a negative and so i can see all of you have a calculator right i think professor made a mistake he wrote force of friction before parallel component of gravitational force i don't think it's a mistake why either way you would get the same answer the acceleration is 2.36 meter per second squared thank you everybody and so now one person told me, thank you, that this is minus 2.36. Alright, but did you realize I made a mistake? Earlier, I put f of f in front of f of x or f perpendicular or parallel when in reality it was supposed to be fd parallel minus f, f of f. But anyway, but you'll so plug that in and you'll still get 2.36 meters per second squared. The homework is to investigate what happens to the acceleration when you increase the angle. From say 30 to 60, 70, 80, and then finally 90. And so what is the acceleration when the angle is 90? And can you tell me if it goes up or down? That's the homework. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Fear Malenge. <laughs> became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.